a wonderful testimony of uh, God's faithfulness to our church and all that the Lord has done through this church over the last 150 years. And we're just really excited about the opportunity to come together this week and to celebrate that. Not many churches anywhere can, can point to 150 years. So that does set Goshen apart. Sure, there's a few few churches in our area that are older than yeah. ours, but uh, just a handful, not not a lot. And, and so it's, it's a wonderful uh, thing to see that the Lord has been faithful to our church for 150 years. You think about anniversaries, especially historical anniversaries, because the Park Service just went through a lot of this with some of the Civil War stuff. But what makes this different is you don't just focus on the history. Right. So we're going to be focusing on the history, but we're also looking toward the future. Uh, we believe that the best days for our church could still yet be ahead of us. And that is dependent on us uh, being ready to go in the direction that the Lord is leading us to go. And so we've been spending time working on the history of the church, but also thinking about what do the next five to ten years look like for our church as we seek to continue to be a, a witness in this community for the gospel. How do you plan a sermon on a, on a Sunday like this? Yeah, so there's some certain thing, you know, themes that uh, are particularly relevant. Uh, and so there's lots of lots of things that you could uh, talk about. But m my focus on Sunday is going to be from Acts 1 8 and the mission that the Lord has given us uh, just before Jesus ascended into heaven. He told his disciples, you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. And so we're going to just be talking about the reality that this mission that God gave to his disciples not 150 years ago, but 2000 years ago uh, is still the commission that we have to continue to proclaim the message of the gospel. So really, really it really is a forward looking type message then. Absolutely. The sermon will be very much looking toward the future. We're going to have a pres history presentation before that, but uh, as we kind of look to God's Word on Sunday, we're going to be thinking about what do, what do the next five to ten years look like for our church. So there's a concert Saturday night and then events on Sunday. Yeah, so it's an exciting weekend for our church. We're going to have a concert uh, with a band called Chosen Road. They're kind of a modern bluegrass band, and that's at 5 p.m. on Saturday. And we encourage everyone to come out and be a part of that. Uh, it's outside, so you should bring your lawn chair and uh, just come prepared to enjoy a, a fun time as we uh, enjoy the concert. And then uh, on Sunday, we're going to have a history presentation at 9.30 a.m. And then our worship service is at 10.30, and we'll have a catered barbecue lunch after the service. And so everyone is welcome to come and join us for any or all of, of these events. We'd love to have anyone come and, and be a part of it. Yeah, I mean, if you're, if you're web, you, you don't have to... You don't have to be a member of Goshen or have even come here. It's, I would think if you did come here at some point, it's, it's nice to come back, but uh, it's, it's, it's an interesting Sunday. Sure, if there's ever been a time that you were a part of this church, we definitely want you to come. But even if you've never been a part, uh, there's really no time like the present for you to come and join us. And so this Sunday, we'd love uh, this weekend, we'd love for you to come and, and be a part. Yeah.